Welcome to opening day here at Chesington World of Adventures and for those that have been following the channel for a while uh, we were developed came to life on the 22nd of March 2001 which makes us 23 years old today which makes me um, really old however opening day at Chesington is where we are celebrating our birthday obviously there's only one place to start as you can probably see start the year at Chesington on the vampire Nothing better than walking into the vampire station for the first time this year. Here it is. Loading already. It's not quite 10 o'clock here either, but it is loading already. There's Marcel. It's vampire time. Now, no for annual pass day, it wasn't, but vampire is on two trains ready for opening day. It's great to get back on Vampire for 2024. Open with two trains as well on an off-peak day. Love to see it, absolutely love to see it. Now I want to get the coasters done quite early. You can see Mandra on the background there, but I'm going to head to Dragon's Fury first. Who doesn't like a spin on Dragon's Fury? So that's the next stop. Rush around, get the coasters done. Feels like it might be quite busy with school groups today. Right, next port of call is Dragon's Fury. Right, now you will notice as we walk into the Mandrill Mayhem queue line that there's no virtual queue, it is just a free-for-all. Now it does say 25 minutes but there's no one in the queue. Might take 25 minutes to walk around here but Mandrill is very much up and running. Oh yeah, mandrel time! A small sick incident has now been cleared up and uh, permitted to ride mandrel mayhem. Here we are. Right, big upgrade for this year, as we can see, is we've got higher bars. Look at these, these things are massive. Absolutely massive. No one's thrown anything on this ride. front row on Mandrill Mayhem. Right, that is all three coasters done in, I don't even know what the time is actually. I'm gonna establish what the time is. 48 minutes, that's not too bad to be honest with you. Mandrill running really, really well. Fury running well, Vampire running well as well. Oh, it's great, it's great to get back into Chesington and get on some of the rides again for this season. Now there's plenty more we wanna catch in this video as well. So we're now gonna look around the rest of the park and check out uh, hopefully the new show, Seatopia, which debuts at 12 o'clock. Now I have to say that um, the free coasters are now done. I'm pretty much done for the day in terms of what I want to do. I want to ride Tomb Blaster, obviously it's not open yet, it's under going refurbishment. There's a few ride closures around and it does seem as well. Um, they did post that uh, rides like Zufari, Tiger Rock and Rattlesnake wouldn't open on off-peak days. I, I'm not in agreement with this at all. I think it's, they should be open even if on rotation. Uh, Tiger Rock is definitely shut, closed all day. Zufari is definitely shut, closed all day. We are going to go and check out Rattlesnake, see if it's open. Unfortunately, the app hasn't been updated yet. So yeah, the kind of ones I want to ride, to be honest with you. Here's a new stage. That looks really cool, doesn't it? Oh, we're going to come back as well at 12 o'clock to catch the show. I don't know if you know what the time is. 20 past 11, so we're going to come back and catch the show down there, but that's really, really cool. And of course, we are only a week away as well from Explorers, which starts, and you can see that is advertised everywhere and the Explorer uh, Street has all been set up. So much like Fort Park as well, um, here are also gonna serve the bubble tea. Still don't really know what it is, to be honest with you, for this year. And the missing unit from up the top is down here. Smash it and bun. <laughs> uh, get it, smash it and bun. Okay, all right, well, you know. But we do have some characters, look at the characters, look. 
seem to be out early. Maybe we'll get a uh, preview of the show. Here we are down in Adventure Point. So the stage is actually set up for Explorers and it does say on there that shows might commence at 11.30. So um, we'll hang about. I think what we'll do is only a couple of minutes away. We'll head in the shop, show the new merchandise for this year. Some really cool new merchandise. I, I'm going to have to restrain myself 100%. But how's the carousel look? I don't remember the steam to be honest. Now then, I went in looking for the new merch in the shop and it's not in there, it's not in the main shop. So I'm hoping it's in a vampire shop. So next stop, okay, Graffalo shop. Next stop, the Graffalo shop. Right, I have found it. Professor Burt's Bubbleworks merch. I mean, we cried out for this back in the day and we got lots of it and we've cried out since as well look at those those cups are fantastic absolutely fantastic you say bunny 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 the explorer show is is on look at that look I love the costumes here at Kesson's and they've always been fantastic with them. I can't wait to see Seatopia shortly as well. Because I think it looks brilliant. Who doesn't like a giant bunny at Easter? I mean, come on. Ah, it's great to see a little preview of the show there for Explorers. We'll be back to cover that one when the event fully kicks off and we're up and running. I'll bring the kids as well, obviously. Now, it does look like the Rattlesnake is indeed supposed to open today, in fairness, but uh, isn't open quite yet. I hang around though. I'd like to see if I can get on that. I do like a bit of Rattlesnake. It's great to see the mist back on as well. There's a lot of screaming too, but it's great to see the mist back on. Prop drop. Open thrilling guests on opening day here at Chesington. There we have it, there is Seatopia. So it looks like that will be there all year and all the event ones will be down in Adventure Point, possibly down on the mini stage as well, though we don't really know what that one's gonna be yet. Ah, celebration, good God. Oh, I'm so easily pleased, it's unreal. I mean, it's not one for me today. It is already raining, but I am on my own today, so Barabala is not something I'm going on. So yeah, there's a few rides still to open for the new season, but the ones that uh, are running are running really, really well. I mean, Fury flying around with seven cars on, Vampire with a couple, and Seatopia. I love that show. I love the shows at Chesington do. Everyone that watches the channel know I love the shows at Chesington do. Here is the new map for this year. As you can see, the uh, world of Jumanji is more realistic size in terms of Mandrill Mayhem. As we scout across to the other rides and attractions. And then over, uh, of course, to the currently missing Scorpion Express. As I said, I will come back and um, check out the full Explorers. I thought it started next week. For the Easter Trail Egg Collection. I shall bring the children next time we do it. And there's your prize if you manage to do it. And we've got a lovely little display down here as well in the new area, which we're going to go and check out. Also great to see the meet and greets being used again. Again, all themed up lovely for explorers. And the new area they've now finished. Look at this look, Easter at its best. absolutely love it now i didn't read the sign properly it is supposed to be on this weekend so 23rd to 25th and then the 28th onwards for easter um it is of course opening day today so it's the 22nd so they have started it a day early which is good a little bit of preview for them let's get into the uh, rhythm of things as well 
There it is, no better way to spend our 23rd anniversary as a outfit. God, I feel old. Thank you for joining us here from Chestnut and World of Adventures, the place that started it all for me, my favorite theme park. We'll see you next time.